Hi John. So we have the um, the Range Rover autobiography. So I, I always try to have a little walk around just so I can judge what's going on with the car. Um, and just try and pick out sort of any negative bits. I'd say 98% of the car is really, really nice. There's a little bit of, of, of wear on the rear parcel shelf, just to be critical. Um, I don't think, from memory, it's ever towed. No, it's not. It's never towed, which is, which is sometimes a good thing. Um, you've got wind deflectors on this one, on the, wind, on the, on the side windows, which is nice. Uh, you've got front mud flaps, you've got side steps, and you've got quite a good privacy glass at the back. Um, a bit of limo tint on the back. So we're going to the car now. We've got two screens at the back. We've got the um, um, wireless headphones, and we have got two sets of those. There's another one set there. Um, the interior on this one is ivory. And you've got hot and cool seats as well, at the front and the back. Um, and that's just for connecting various sort of games or whatever into, into the screens at the back. Um, if you've got grandchildren or whatever. You've, you've got heated rear seats and cool seats, as I say, and that's the control mechanism from there, as well as climate control in the back. Um, that's called piano black, so you've got the dark, trim off the ivory which just sets it off I think quite nice um, a little bit of wear on the side of the seat um, as you'd expect you know it isn't brand new at the end of the day but th there's just a tremendous spec on these so what have you got you've got um, you've got your cruise you've got um, so many things on the autobiography. They're probably 100 grand new, these cars. Probably more than that. Um, home and Carmen speakers. The original books are with the car. A little bit of wear on the side arm, arm piece there. But the bodywork on the car is extremely clean. Um, maybe maybe one, maybe two stone chips on the front. You stand back, you can't see them. But I mean, just, I'm just trying to be really critical here so that we know what we're doing. There's a little bit of, right, so you've got a silver trim at the bottom there. And they always go, just, you can't see it from the back, but there's just always a little bit of trim missing off that corner. Um, so you've got your, your mud flaps to the front. Wheels are all nice. Um, windscreen's good. No chips or anything. Um, we're, we're in the shadows here because we're under the trees, but it does shine extremely well, this car does. I think, I think on the autobiography it's got slightly better paint on it. Um, big rear number plate, that's what Range Rovers should have. So I suppose to be ultra, ultra critical, there's a tiny little bit at the end of that trim missing off the side step, which you can't see when you stood here. Um, you've got over mats in the car, in the front and in the back. So you've got all that. As I say, the piano back. You, on the autobiography, you've got a leather um, dashboard and leather side trims. Look at that. I got, I, got, I got in the middle of a dog fight the other day and tried to help somebody end up getting bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm going around the car. Here's your overmatch, parcel shelf scene. You've got your sunroof. You've got your ear entertainment. tyres look lovely, loads of tread on those. What I've concluded is if we do a deal, what I would do is I would give the car a service before it left, because it is full service history of the car, but the last service was last year, and it was probably about 12,000 miles ago. So I would make sure it's serviced. And I would also, it's MOT I think from memory till June, uh, June or August, I think it's August, I would put a year's MOT on so that we know but the service is up to date and stamped in the book. Um, you know, and the, the MOT is is also up to date so that we know when it leaves us that there's nothing that the car needs. My son's driven it, he's done, I don't know, probably 150 miles in the car. And, and it is, you know, it is as it needs to be. There's no creaks or rattles or 
or anything on it. It's, it's, and I think that's what you get when you get full service history ones. Um, so yeah, looking at the bumper corners, there's no marks. It's the cleanest one I've seen for the year. It really is. So I'll send you that video over, John, so that you and the family can have a look. And then I'll just do another video of the service history so you can see what you've got on that. And as you can see, we do love Range Rover folks. We've been here 25 years. Um, as I say, when Boris said work from home, we took him, we took him literally. So I'll send, oh, there's a little bit of a scuff there, just on that corner, which you probably touch in in fairness. Um, but I think apart from that, it, there's nothing on that corner, it's lovely. Apart from that, as it needs to be. Um, okay, John, thank you very much, and I will speak to you in a bit. Cheers.